worked this project to convert this 1993 school bus into a greenhouse. Greenhouses are really, really liberating and allow you to grow plants beyond the regional growing season. Unfortunately, when using greenhouse kits or designing your own, the costs tend to escalate. So, rather than introducing a lot of new materials into this school bus, I would like to use as many of the original materials as were in the school bus in the final greenhouse. For instance, I finished pulling down the ceiling panels and insulation and kept these ceiling panels to be used to protect the floor from water that drips off the plants or might run off. The light fixtures that were in the side panels I strung into this neat little shelving setup which is a little bit more aesthetic than practical at this point but I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Organization is always good. And these, you may notice that I've removed the seat backs, but not the seat frames. That's so that there can be like a modular growing setup in each of the seats so that the whole school bus doesn't need to be transformed. If the demands of what needs to be grown in the season, in the, in the school bus around the different seasons or over time changes, just an individual seat or if it's the space between two seats will need to be changed rather than building a whole new thing um, along the length of the school bus. In the interest of using all the original materials from the school bus, I took the seat backs that uh, were removed from these frames and I've been folding them, well pressing them and hammering them into these spill trays or boxes our grow boxes that can be placed underneath the seats for plants that need lower light, more moisture, um, or less direct sunlight and more moisture. For instance, growing mushroom logs would be it'd be good to set the log in a tray like this so that it's not directly on the ground causing a mess, but and can be removed individually. However, it um, as it's located beneath the seats. Here, it won't get as much direct sunlight as the shelves that are constructed either hanging from here or um, in these seat shelves themselves. And yeah, I'll be checking in over the course of the project and keeping you updated. Really, the vision that I have is for this to be a completely replicable project so that a school bus that gets taken out of commission can be seen as a greenhouse kit just waiting to be constructed. There's a few more design decisions that you get to play with than in a greenhouse kit, um, but you're not completely starting the structure from scratch like you would in building your own, designing your own school bus, or your own greenhouse. Um, and there's just a huge issue of waste um, with school buses as more and more safety features get introduced or environmental regulations on the impact of the driving the school bus um, get introduced. The school buses that don't have those safety features must be retired and often they end up in junkyards. So in the county of Virginia that I'm in, it's an unzoned county and you'll be driving through the mountains. The beautiful beautiful scenery and you'll open up to this valley that just has vehicles as far as the eye can see. It's shocking and I think bringing a second life to vehicles, be they school buses or cars or whatever we come up with would be a phenomenal way to do it. So between the environmental benefit of using these materials that are refined um, to the aesthetic benefit of not um, filling valleys with uh, junk arts. And another note on the issue of junk is 
and comes back to the point of using as many of the materials from the original bus as possible is because at the end of the day I want a fully functional beautiful greenhouse but I also don't want to be reminded of the pile of waste that was generated um, as I threw out parts of it uh, into just more junk that just fits better into a, um, a dumpster than the whole bus would. So in doing that it will cut down the uh, amount of waste that's generated and create a useful end of life, end of life or uh, new use case for retired school buses. So we'll see how the project goes.